Hey there, welcome back to my channel. A couple of weeks ago on Instagram, I shared a picture where I had done a rare neutral moment using the Limoncello palette from ColourPop, and I asked people if they wanted a tutorial, and the answer was yes. So that was my intention today, but it got a little bit out of hand. I got a bit carried away, and so if you want to see how I did this eyeshadow look, which I recognize is not in any way neutral, then don't go anywhere if you're new to my channel. Hi there, my name's Rachel. I'm a homeschooling stay-at-home mom, and I love to play with colorful eyeshadows. So that's how this happened. I got a little excited. If you want to see lots of colorful content on your timeline, you might want to consider liking and subscribing, because I upload about three videos a week. All right, a little caveat before we get going. Obviously, this is the final result, and it is not neutral. I, I see that. Um, I'm going to make notations during the editing process where if you're following the tutorial and you want your look to be more neutral, it's really quite simple. What happened was I ended up using the wrong shimmer, and that sort of turned the look into a new direction. So I will make notes about what you could use to get my final result from before, but I don't think I'm going to take the time to make a new eyeshadow video for that look because, you know, honestly, there are so many really good neutral eyeshadow look tutorials out there, probably better than mine, and so if you want to find that, it is not going to be difficult for you. But this is me, this is where I am, I'm a huge dork, and this is the eyeshadow look that I came up with, and that's what we're going to go with today. So what I used for the inspiration look was mainly the Limoncello palette from Colourpop. I think actually it was exclusively the Limoncello palette from Colourpop. I think today I'm going to do that look, but I also want to spice it up a little bit by throwing some like emerald green on the lower waterline. So I'm going to probably do that and make it a little bit more interesting, but generally it's going to be the same as my inspiration picture. I will start with a blending brush. Um, it's a medium sized and pretty fluffy blending brush. I just want to use it as a light wash. And I'm going to grab the shade Semi Freddo. And I'm going to put that starting in my crease at the outer corner and then I'll start blending it in towards the, um, the bridge of the nose and up towards my brow a little bit. This is basically my transition color, so it's only going to go darker from here. And I don't like it when my shadow touches the eyebrow, so I generally try to keep it a little bit lower than the eyebrow, even if I'm blending something out. I, I want, want there to be a little bit of, of um, clear skin under the eyebrow. I don't want my color to touch. So that's just something I try to keep in mind. Sometimes I do it successfully and sometimes I don't. Yeah. Now I'm going to take an e.l.f. blending brush and uh, this one is not a half moon or anything. It's just a circular shape. I want to take the shade The Grotto and this is, I'm just going light, medium, dark. So this is the medium shade. I'm going to lay that in my crease in the outer corner and a little bit towards the bridge of the nose, but not as far in because I don't want the depth of shade you know, that close to the inner corner. I just want it kept out here a bit. I just made a video where I was talking about our internet connection at home and how I was having issues um, uploading videos because for a few days we didn't have the internet and I was I was frustrated about that, but my husband reinstalled the internet and I'm glad. But then I, okay, so he went out of town and I thought, hey, while he's out of town, I'll record a couple of extra videos just to, you know, get them in the queue so that I have a little bit of wiggle room. And I had so many issues with my phone while he was away because for some reason, even though it's a brand new phone with more storage than my last phone, I was having problems with um, the storage was like filled up and I didn't understand why. So I went and I looked, I mean, I'm not, I'm not great with technology. I get by, I, I learn things along the way, but it's definitely not my strength. And so I went into my iPhone settings and I was looking up the iPhone storage numbers and I saw, okay, photos obviously take up a lot. Um, and then I had like the cache of messages that takes up a decent amount of space as well. But then I had this enormous chunk of storage on my phone, which was for um, not the iOS system, but something to do with data and like past caches and junk files and stuff. I don't know, I don't remember what it was called, but it was taking up like 60% of my phone storage. And I just didn't understand what it was because I was trying to figure out, okay, how do I deal with this so that I can get rid of, um, unnecessary clutter and clear up some space in my phone. I thought it was pictures. I thought that the photos were the things that I could control. So I was like, all right, well, what if I upload all the photos to iCloud and then delete them off my device or put them all onto a, a flash drive and then delete them off my device. But that would have been multiple flash drives. And I was just getting more and more frustrated. And technology is something that stresses me out. Like I understand how great it can be. I appreciate all of its many benefits. I, I love being able to con connect with people and stay in touch and the benefits of recording and editing and uploading. Like I like the benefits of technology, but I, I don't understand behind the scenes. And when it doesn't go well, I get really stressed. It just, it frustrates me and makes me tense. Now I'm taking a smaller blending brush and taking the shade Vespa 
And I'm just using a little bit of this to deepen up the outer corner. So anyway, I was looking at my phone, getting more and more stressed, and I could feel myself, like the stress building in myself because I was starting to get cranky and moody and being a little bit short-tempered with my children. And I was like, no, this is, it's just too much. So I put my phone down and forgot about it for the rest of the day, but I knew I still had to deal with it because it wasn't even YouTube videos. I was getting to the point where I couldn't even take photographs. Um, you know, pictures of my baby or you know, my daughters being cute together. I couldn't even take regular photos and I was like, this is ridiculous. We have these phones that have enormous amounts of storage and all of it's taken up by this, this nebulous, I don't know what it is. <sighs> so I asked my husband about it when he got home. Oh, I didn't get anything done that weekend. I recorded no videos at all. Never mind extra videos, nothing over the weekend. So I asked my husband when he got home and he's like, what is that? Like my phone doesn't show that. He had tons of free storage space on his phone, which annoyed me further because I'll take 15 pictures and then choose the best one and delete the rest. He'll take 15 pictures and keep them all. So he has thousands of extra pictures on his phone that are just duplicates or pretty much duplicates. And I don't do that. And I thought, why is your phone still having all of this available space when mine is not? I was so confused. So he said, well, why don't you just, well, Google it. He said, Google it. And I'm like, all right, well, I would have done that anyway. I was hoping that you could give me other information. <laughs> but anyway, so I Googled it and it was like, oh yeah, junk files and old caches and you have to download software to clean your iPhone. And I was feeling more and more annoyed. I'm gonna take my finger and grab the shade Serenade. I like to apply ColourPop shimmers with my finger. Generally, they perform quite nicely. Um, and I'm gonna put that on the rest of the lid space. So anyway, I was frustrated and feeling stressed and he said, all right, all right, why don't you just restart your phone and see if anything resolves? I was just like, well, I, I didn't need your help for that. I could have done that myself. <laughs> but anyway, I restarted my phone and I go into the um, iPhone settings and I go to iPhone storage and all of a sudden only a quarter or less, possibly less of my space is being taken up and I have all of this free space on my phone. And I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. I've been stressing about this all weekend. I now have the Serenade shade on a flat brush. I'm not going to bother spraying it because I already have pretty, uh, pretty good payoff using my finger because that's how ColourPop shimmers work. Um, but I want this brush to just um, clean up this edge right here in the crease and blend it out towards the mats. Anyway, so um, all of a sudden I had all this free space and I was just... I wasn't annoyed. I wasn't going to let something that stupid annoy me as far as him being right. <laughs> He's usually right. <laughs> he is. He is usually right. Anyway, um, I was, I was just relieved. Like, okay, I don't understand it. I don't understand what it was or why it happened or anything, but it's resolved. I now have tons of storage space on my phone, so I don't have to worry about backing it up against, you know, like, putting it all on iCloud and then deleting stuff. I don't have to fret about losing pictures that I want. I can just go back to my normal life and have the storage on my phone that I want. And I was so relieved. <laughs> I was just like, oh my goodness. Okay, all right, now I'm gonna take that same small shader brush or medium shader brush. I'm wiping it off on my color switch and I wanna take the shade Touring. As I'm thinking about my inspiration picture, because I was going for neutral, <laughs> I may not have actually used the Serenade shade. I, I may not have used it. Now I feel kind of silly. I think that this neutral look I'm supposed to be recreating didn't use the Serenade shade. I think I just used Touring on the whole lid. <laughs> I don't remember, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to remember the picture and I don't think it had the lemony yellow in it. Okay, well, I'm sorry. That was inadvertent. I, I, I guess I wasn't paying close enough attention. Honestly, neutral looks tend to be sort of boring to me, so I was probably, <laughs> I was probably trying to like, you know, brighten it up a bit. Uh, anyway, this is what we're doing today. So I've got the shade Touring on my brush. I do like this shade. Um, and I think I will put that in the inner corner on top of the yellow. It'll add like a slightly brownish tint to the yellow shimmer. Um, I'm gonna use my pinky finger actually. Pinky because it gives me a bit more bit more um, precision in the smaller area. But you see the difference when I add touring on top of Serenade. Um, so this neutral look will have a bit of yellow to it. That's okay. It's also gonna have the green that I'll throw in the lower lash line. So I'll just say it's in the spirit of my inspiration picture, but not an exact, not an exact replication. 
All right, so here we go. This is where we are right now. I definitely think I did not use the yellow shimmer in my original look. I think I only used the touring shade. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I feel like a ninny, but I just kept chatting, so whatever. Okay, so I want to do more of an emerald green on the lower lash line, but I don't have a very good emerald green matte, so this is what I'm going to do. If you're following along and you just want to stay within the Limicello palette, then I would simply copy on the lower lash line what you did on top. So take like the medium and then the darker brown and do medium from like outer corner until about the midway and then put the darker matte even closer to the lashes in the outer corner itself and then probably carry the shade touring all the way through the inner corner onto the lower lash line to meet up with the mattes. So that's what I would do if I were staying in the Limoncello palette but I have to wear this look all day and I really want to throw some green in so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the Dirty Martini shadow palette from Glamlight. I want the shade Garnish which is right here and then this is it's not really an emerald green it's more of a more of a forest green with a very very slight yellow undertone and then i'm going to take the play it jewel palette from ColourPop and take the shade crown this is a um an emerald green shimmer it, it's like an emerald green with a little bit of blue in it but it's not full teal anyway those are the shades i'm going to use so i'm going to take what am i going to do i don't have a plan no plan what am i going to do I'm gonna take a medium or smaller blending brush and grab the shade Garnish from Dirty Martini. And I wanna lay this on the whole lower lash line. Anyway, so now I have plenty of storage space on my phone. I can make videos to my heart's content. I can edit them, upload them, delete them, and do it again. And I can also take pictures of my babies and pictures of my husband and do whatever I wanna do without worrying about running out of space. I mean, unless something surprises me and you know, the, I don't know junk files or whatever it originally was. I have no idea. It was just so annoying and confusing to me and I didn't know where to start in order to deal with it. And I think that's what stresses me out the most about technology is that I don't know, I don't really know where to start. Like, okay, I've got this problem, but what do I do about the problem? Like, how can I fix the problem? My husband calls me a troglodyte, which is basically a cave person. He's not wrong. Now I'm going to take the shade Crown from the Play It Jewel palette from ColourPop. I have a very small pencil brush for this. I'm going to dip into the shadow and I want it to perform um, a little bit more metallic because, well, I just do. So I'm going to spray it. This shade I'm going to put at the inner corner, starting where these lemony shimmers begin and just work its way out. This is bringing in a nice bit of a blue and emerald feel to the green that I laid down. That's making it the emerald that I want. Now I think for an inner corner highlight, I'm gonna take that small blending brush I used before. I wanna take the shade Dirty Martini from the Dirty Martini palette. It's just a matte light green, like a light sagey green. And I'm gonna put that right here as a little pop of green at the inner corner. I love a matte inner corner highlight. And finally, for my waterline, I'm going to take the shade Canopy from ColourPop's uh, Creme Gel Liners. This is a dark green from their Lush Life collection. And I'll line the whole lower waterline. Just make that lower lash line kind of smoky. There you go, that's the eye look. I'm going to go off camera, finish up the other side, put on uh, liner and mascara and whatnot, and then I'll be back to show you how it all turned out. Okay, so that escalated more quickly than I thought it would. <laughs> You know what? There are a billion and a half neutral eyeshadow tutorials on the internet. This one was kind of inspired by that and I, I will leave the instructions in the tutorial if you want to actually follow along to get my inspiration look. But I really wanted to pair it with emerald green and I think it's quite beautiful. I really like how it turned out. I did a slight wing and um, some mascara and then on my lips I'm wearing the color uh, Smirk from ColourPop Lip Oils. And there you go, that's the finished look. I think it's really pretty. It is not at all neutral. It's not at all, let's, I'm not gonna lie to myself. It's not a neutral look, but I think it's pretty and I like it and I'm gonna go through my day feeling like I've got a fun eyeshadow look. So that's the video, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for hanging out with me. Remember to like and subscribe if you feel like it and I will see you again in my next video. Bye. Hey there, welcome back to my channel. There was a time on Instagram, there was a time on Instagram. <laughs> hey there, welcome back. There was a time on Instagram. There was, there was a time on Instagram. <laughs> Hey there, welcome back to my channel. I, I, uh, I said, well, uh, hey there, welcome back to my channel. A couple weeks ago, I put um, an. Oh my goodness. No <clears throat> hey there, welcome back to my channel. A couple of weeks ago, I did a rare neutral look on myself. New <sighs> Duh. <laughs>